Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys are okay. So today we are going to talk about virtual networks on Azure. All right, so I'm already open here, my Azure. Uh, well, you can look it for here in the sidebar, okay, in your left side, or you can just search it on on the search bar, okay, virtual networks, and there's that it is. So just a sec. Mm, well, so today we are going to create another virtual network. Okay, I have a few over here for testing for servers, and now we are going to create a new one. Okay, just locate the button create. And we're going to be redirected to a page that's going to help you to create a new uh, a new virtual network. All right. So the first step here is the subscription. Okay, you just select yours. The resource name. Okay, you have you can uh, search for. You can create a new resource name. Or well, uh, you can find one existing one here. I'm going to create a new one. Okay, VM uh, VNet VNet pen testing. Okay, I'll press OK. So here I'm going to give a name uh, VNet pen test. Okay. Uh, well, now we can use the locations here. Okay, we can select one. I'm going to use from Europe East. Okay, West. So West Europe. Uh, all my resources have to be into this region. Okay, all of them. Uh, for example, you create a resource, a virtual machine. So this virtual machine, when I use uh, this region for the IP address, we are going for uh, standard, put our virtual machine into west of Europe. All right, so next here. Uh, well, here, as we can see, is they are paid. All the services are paid, okay, additionally. Uh, well, we can create a, vi a virtual network encryption could be very nice a bastion is going to facilitate our job because we we don't have to open ports directly to the internet we can just connect into azure bastion using our browser so here uh we have to give a host name okay and then the public ip we are not going to do that also we can check it for firewall all right we can <coughs> Sorry, um, I have pneumonia right now. Uh, well, the tire is studded. We could take some other, and then here is the same thing. Uh, public IP address. We are not going to do that. Okay. Uh, now we are going to next. Uh, here we have the subnets. This is very interesting thing. Why? Because here we have the default one. It starts dot. 10.0.0.0 and gives us 256 IP addresses. Okay, and then we have the Bastion subnet and the firewall because we uh, click it on it. Okay, and then it creates automatically for us. Uh, well, next one is the tags. I'm going to skip and then review. And then we are going to create the virtual networks. Excuse me for a second. I have been seeking for a few days now. Right, and now I'll just create. 
let's see how long it's going to take to create this for us okay Well, uh, the deployment is in progress. Okay, uh, so here we are going to have some options like subjects, devices that are connected to our virtual network. You will be able to manage all of it, okay? Okay, just go to the resource. And here we are, uh, Vinat Pentest. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, here we have some information, research group, and the location. Okay, we can move it. Subscription, we can move also. The IP space, the flow timeout, and then. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, guys. Here we have the address space. Okay, we can modify this too. Um, there is six five five hundred six addresses. All right. So, well, I hope you understand about the IP addressing, right? Like uh, in the range twenty four, twenty eight, twenty nine, sixteen, eight. Okay. Is very important you understand that. Here we can check about connected devices. We don't have any. And then we have the subnets. Okay, in the subnets we still have here Azure Bastion. So let's go to the virtual machines now we are going to create. Uh, let me stop this. This one, okay. Well, we are going to create another resource. Why? Because the resource group I'm going to use uh, Finet, uh, could be in the servers, the resource group. Windows Server 2019 pen testing. Okay, the region, we can select West Europe. And then here, no infrastructure redundance. And then, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to select Windows Server 2019. Uh, it's checking about the name. Okay, so next one's going to be the disks. I'm going to use like standard one. And the letters the VM, and then in the networking, uh, you guys already see here we have the net pen test. Okay, so I'm going to select this one here, and it's going to give us the default subnet. All right, and then the public IP address, the NIC network security name, uh, we're going to add like that. The inbound none, just for example, we are not going to do that. And then uh, delete, all right, load balance none, review and create. Let me see where it's reviewed. Oh, yep, <laughs> sorry for that. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so we're doing great. Here it's like thirteen cents per hour. Create.
sorry guys, really sorry. I had fever like the last night, and a little it's affecting my voice, my throat. So I'm drinking a lot of water. It's necessary. Remember when we created the virtual network, uh, we did not have any device connected, right? So, let me see if it's already connected. Yes, and it's already connected. Even deploying uh, task yet, it's already connected. Okay. So I just finish and then we are going to create a new subnet. Okay. Yeah, done. It's created. Let's go to the resource. Now we can see, uh, <coughs> sorry, the virtual network subnet. You see the default uh, subnet. We can change it. Uh, also, networking settings. Uh, we are. Here, network interface. And that, and virtual network the public ip address and the private sometimes we don't need we don't want a public ip address we don't need because it's going to run like internal into our entra okay and here we have the rules um allowed in like uh inbound and denying all inbound you see so there's no open ports and now Let's back to the virtual networks. And then here we have pen testing and connected device, as you guys could saw before, and subnets. Now we can create another subnet. <coughs> the full one Azure Bastion, Azure Firewall, Virtual Network Gateway, Firewall Management, Router. Route server, we can define what we want here. I'm going to use the foo, and the name is going to I will let the foo to and then include IPv4 uh, space. You see, it's already given me some options of 26 and then starting IP address 10.0.2. I could modify here for three. Okay, and then for 16, <coughs> just modify here. Okay, slash 24. You see 29. Uh, this is a CIDR. Okay, that determines the range of the IPs and how many IP address our network's going to have. For example, 29, 8 IP addresses, 20, 24. 256 uh, 256 and 16 IP address so we are going to select the standard one 24 okay we could put here like all right we have limited servers so we just want IP addresses for the servers and no more we could select like 28 for example it's going to be reserved 16 IP addresses for the servers, okay? So by standard uh, 24. Now, uh, include IP address six space known. Enable private uh, subnet. We could 
but we are not going to do this All right so we have not gateway we can create that later <coughs> unfortunately that's not going to be part of this train because light introductory is a video is about azure and then we're going to just for us to understand how azure works for us starting to make like recon privilege escalation role abuse this kind of stuff okay so services no services at all who oh, shouldn't and route stable network security group so we can select them but we are not going to and then we are going to add so let's just wait to finish and then well here we are the default tool we can give another name like servers you know a group of servers a group of services including <coughs> sorry <coughs> my bad sorry so that's it for now in the next video we are going to see active directory or actually entra the former active directory okay we are going to see how it works how can we connect devices into servers into our uh azure active directory or our azure entra and then we are going to create also a multi-cloud environment actually it's not multi-cloud but like on-premises servers and then we are going to integrate okay on services on premise and on cloud for us to understand and then we are going to start making videos about recon role abuse and all other stuff we can get from azure right so thanks a lot guys sorry for coughing sorry for my voice okay and well see you guys in the next video if you like this video just give me a like subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and see you guys in the next video